Initial sensor sweep confirms our long-distance scans. This planet seems to be getting warmer at an incredible rate. We were right to investigate. It still has ice caps there, but projections see them melting over the next hundred orbits or so. Looks like it's a classic greenhouse effect. Presumably there's been a volcanic eruption or... I bet it's life. I just know it's life. It has to be. Now don't get too excited. Let's take a closer look. Yes, see, I knew it. The planet's covered in those weird apes. <laughs> look at them in their fancy dress. The extra heating we detected seems to be a result of the build-up of carbon from the dressed apes burning hydrocarbons for fuel. They're unbalancing their own ecosystems. We've got to warn them. It seems they already know, look. They have a primitive version of the Ipanet. <laughs> yeah, it looks like a toy one. Half of it's made of copper wires. I'm scanning their news media and look, there are stories everywhere. They know they have barely ten orbits left to do something. Huh? What are they doing to fix it? Nothing. Nothing at all. You what? That's mad. All the retro projections indicate that their carbon emissions are increasing every orbit. They have a viral pandemic which they're fighting with an economic shutdown, and that's, that's barely made a dent. Everyone wants to get back to burning fuel as quickly as they can. <laughs> they know, but they ain't doing anything about it. Amazing, what a bunch of morons, that's hilarious. Do they have a death wish? Just wait, I'm still scanning. Or is it a war? Are they burning the sky to spite the other side? Shh. Oh, I see. What? Their society seems to be organized into two main genuses. There's a worker genus that builds things and performs services. And then there's an owner genus of accumulated monopolized capital. Sure, surely the society wouldn't be stable. The capital would just suck the workers dry and then have nothing left to sustain itself. You see? I think the capital is just so consumed with growing itself that it's unconcerned with anything else at all. What? That's amazing. That's just hilariously stupid. Can't they see that unbalancing their own ecosystem will destroy the value of all the capital they've monopolized? You would think so, and yet, look. <laughs> That's mad. You'd think the workers would rise up and they'd stop the capital before it unbalances the web of life. You know, use their numbers to demand democracy. Well, that's just it. They've been conned into thinking they already have one. You what? <laughs> <laughs> Most of the people there, they think that they live in a democracy. So they, they have elections? Of course. But the elections are just a sham. The party of the capital wins just about every time. Surely not every time. I mean, that'd be a dead giveaway. Oh no. Sometimes the capital genus allows the other party to win, just only when they are in control of that party as well. Do the people not have a free press to expose all this? I mean, you read all this on their iPonet. <laughs> well, they think that they do. But in fact, their media is also owned by the capital. So really, they just have a corporate client press that simply calls itself free. While in fact, it's working as propaganda for the capital genus. That's the funniest thing I've ever heard. They think that they've got a free press and a democracy, even though the capital owns and controls both almost completely. <laughs> yes, they're funny little dress tapes. Wait, wait, all the theory says that this should lead to a massive amount of cronyism and grift. It call last? Yes, well, let's see. Look. Yes, billions of their money have been given out to special VIP channels, which are filled with the friends and family of the political and media networks. Could this be it then? A Fermi filter event? Are they going to end up dead like all those other planets? 
Surely the capital genus won't be so stupid as to destroy the network of living things that supports it. It could be. The planet has warmed just in the time we've been watching, look. And the capital has amassed yet more power. Imagine observing the ongoing collapse of an old planet. We definitely should stay and observe. The own world, they will be fascinated. This will be an incredible and hilarious show. We could solve the Fermi problem. Everyone at home will want to like and subscribe.